Hi guys, so what's going on? In this video, we are going to show you how to do component inheritance in Angular. So what you see here is we have two pages. One is trucks and one is uh, like a customer page. So um, okay, so let's change the title here so that this will be very visible. So this one here is trucks and the other one here is um this one customers right so that will render trucks and then customers so they are both using um prime ng table here and the difference um, is that they are using different components one is inheriting from a component so that it will it can be able to override its um, behaviors so let's try to take a look on the code so this app j3x here is the main uh, the original table uh, component so this component here um, this one here is using the template is using um, prime ng so let's go to its HTML here this one let's go to its HTML this one here the HTML so the HTML here is uh, looks like this it's using prime uh, prime ng table and it receives products and it has its raw on raw select here so the on raw select uh, is here this one is on raw select it will just console log the selected event okay so we want to we want to override this on uh on the truck page so this one is in the customer page and we want to override it when it's in the trucks page so to do that we created another component okay so this is the other component that we created uh, we call this extender and it will just extend uh, the this one here this component and if you can see the template here the HTML doesn't have anything we can actually delete that because uh, when you go to the component itself uh, the template and the style is using the template and style of the uh, of this component here of the j3x component so we just want to extend its behavior here so instead of of this one here instead of this being executed uh, we will execute this one here where we will console log on a caller instead of the event and to do that um, we put it on a shared a module and then the extender and the original component here that we extended and we import that into our module here we import the shared module uh, yep here we import the sh shared module and then in here in the page so this is the now the extender and it's still using the same one with um, here in the customer or right here go to where's our truck okay so you can see here um, this is how the the main the original component looks like and then how we extended it it um, is it's still the same on how we are using it so there's still a products products but we're just using the app extender here instead of the this one here and the result of that is we are able to uh, override uh, this uh, this row on row select 
so to demo that here alright to open so this one here is the console log of that page and this one here is the console log of this page so if we select this select select it's just um, console logging the event and if we select here in the trucks it's doing a color so that is it uh, it's very powerful because you can do extra behavior on special pages uh, depending on how you want the behavior to be on the on whatever event here in your prime ng table all right so that's it thank you and good night bye